Hey there, welcome to the junk drawer. My name is Enzo and today we are tasting some candy. Candy. Candy, the doll with hair you can color, wash and color again. To dry quickly, let mom blow dry and... Hair of red or hair of gold. Hair that's brown or hair that's bold. Wash out the old color, let mom blow dry and put on the new. Change her makeup to match her hair, and... She can be what you desire, it's candy! Candy, with washable color kit, beauty mask, and stand that you assemble by Mego. So I've had this candy doll for a hot second, and I thought today was the day to take a look at it. So a little background on this doll. It is put out by Mego. Um, it was put out in 1979. I think it lasted like one or two years. So the whole gimmick was that you could change her hair color and her makeup. So and it included like a, like a makeup kit, I guess. So the one thing you're gonna notice when I show this to you is that her face is really discolored and a little disturbing. So the thing with her in particular is that um, I read up I read up on this for a quick second, so I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is right, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. So uh, when when manufacturers uh, make these like vinyl dolls, they put something called a plasticizer in the mix it in with the vinyl. But because this this doll in particular uh, has like a makeup feature, they didn't want to put as much plasticizer so that the makeup would not absorb into the vinyl. So it has a weak plasticizer is, is the, the basis of it. So the one downside with that is that the pigment in the vinyl fades a lot quicker when, the pla when there's not a lot of plasticizer. I think I got that right. But anyway, when I show you her face, you'll understand. So a couple more tidbits of information about uh, Candy. Uh, uh, side note, I, I wasn't able to find a ton of stuff, so all, all the information I'm giving you right now was basically from one site, and I'll credit them uh, in the description below. But yeah, for some reason, <laughs> I was not able to find a ton of information on this doll, and maybe that's just because I don't, I'm not a good detective, I, I don't know. So as far as I could tell, there is also a styling head that came out in this line. Um, and what else? Uh, the Canadian version of this is called Brandy, not Candy. Not sure why they changed the name, but that happens for sure. There were fashion packs that came out with the doll as well. Hey there, editing me. Um, I did not realize this when I recorded this, but uh, it turns out Candy does have friends. So uh, as you can see in the back of this one package, she does have four friends. Um, and then here is a package for Tangerine. Um, I'm sure there are more uh, products from this line that I am not aware of. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there. So I guess after the line was discontinued, another company came in and bought the old stock and repackaged these candy dolls as Lady Linda. I don't know why, again, no information, but that's, that's pretty much all I have. So let's, let's enough talk, let me just show you the doll. So try not to be too frightened when you see this, but here we go, here she is. So as you can tell, her face is a different color than the rest of her skin tone. And it is, it is quite disturbing in my opinion. Um, as when I saw this on the shelf, I got this at a, um, like a doll shop and I was like, what is that? And it just, it just totally drew me in. So I was like, I have to pick this up. This is so weird. So, so yeah, so I'll show you the front of the box. It's called Fashion Candy. And then the back of the box. I'm not sure, this is, this is the other thing. So you're able to give her makeup, 
and then changed her, the color of her hair. But they're sh so they're showing different hair colors, but I don't know if these are colored or if these are actually different dolls. So there may be other dolls in this line, in this candy line that I don't know about. So, um, but yeah, anyway, we're just gonna take a look at this doll and then, and then figure it out. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, there was a 19 inch version of this candy doll. This is the 11 and a half inch version. So typically I do not open up these vintage dolls, uh, especially if, if I like the packaging and I kind of do like this packaging, but I'm very curious as to what is on the inside uh, with, of this with like the makeup and stuff. So I'm gonna try and open this uh, very carefully. That way I can repackage it. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So before I fully unpackage her, I've never seen this before, but she is literally zip tied in. I don't know if you can see that. It's a literal zip tie. So she's out of the box. But before we get to the doll, I have some stuff to show you. So she came with this cross-sell pamphlet that has other uh, fashions, I believe. So these are probably the fashion packs. And I, I love when, when dolls include this, especially when they're vintage. So, so there's that. The other thing that it includes is instructions, which I love these old instructions where they're like illustrated. And then that's the inside. And then the back. So it's basically showing how to, I guess, style the hair and put the makeup on and all that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any of that because number one, the makeup is uh, really old and I don't wanna mess up her hair. So I'm not gonna be doing that unfortunately, sorry. But uh, I will show you what the accessories are. So the other thing it comes with is this cover up. So you're meant to put this around the doll's neck I guess so so you don't dirty its clothes, which is really funny and smart, I guess. So the first thing we have here is a stand. And I've seen uh, I've seen stands like this before, but yeah, I, and I don't know how well they work, honestly, but this is interesting that it's not a traditional waist clip, but maybe that wasn't normal back in the late 70s. Next, she comes with these little sponges. There's four perforations here. So I'm assuming this is to apply the makeup on her face or apply the makeup to her hair. I'm not sure yet. All right, so it's it's kind of making sense now. So this is an applicator. Uh, it's a cute little applicator. One, these sponges go into the applicator, like they kind of, um, kind of get wedged in there. So it's, it kind of looks like this. It's hard to tell, but then this is what you use to kind of apply the, the, the color, I guess. And then we have this uh, comb, which is super cute. Same motif with the heart handle. And then a brush that is also uh, heart themed. And these are both like a purple color. And then we have our tiny little shoes. Look how cute these are. These are a little like wedge, wedge shoes, I guess, with the yellow band across the top. And then the last thing we have is the actual makeup. It comes in this cute little heart compact, essentially. And then you open it up. Uh, you can open it up. <laughs> and it comes in these uh, three colors. Looks like uh, black, brown, and red or burgundy. And here we have the doll. So here's her front. And then her back. She definitely has box hair. It's a little, it's a little flat back there. Um, her hair does feel nice though. Uh, it doesn't, I, it doesn't feel like crispy, crunchy. It is pretty soft. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what kind of hair uh, they used, but it does feel nice. There's this weird bow in her hair. I'm not sure why, but there is. Um, 
So yeah, her face is uh, super pale and <laughs> kind of creepy, but uh, it's a nice face, I guess. And then she has this purple kind of like oversized shirt with these like cuffed sleeves and the candy logo right on the, on the center there. And then her, her shirt is kind of like tied on the side there. And then her leggings are these like yellow stretchy leggings. And that's about it. So yeah, I, I, I do love, I do love her hair actually, honestly. I love how like, like poofy it is uh, and how like there's a lot of it to play with. I think with a good wash, this would be good. Uh, looking at the rooting, the rooting seems pretty good. It's not like super sparse or anything. So that's, that's a plus. So here she is with her super cute shoes. The one uh, just wants to fall off, so it's kind of dangling there for dear life. Scoot that back on. No. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's these are cute. I love they, they match her pants and they're adorable. The one thing I did notice about her uh, is that her face, since uh, she has this issue with uh, the fading, her face is like kind of sticky. And I don't, I'm assuming that's a result of the plasticizer kind of not being there. So, because her, her body is not sticky, but her face is definitely, it's like tacky, which is, which is again, gross. <laughs> and as far as articulation goes, she can move her head side to side, not so much up and down. Um, she can move her arms up and down. There's, oh, she's got waist articulation, which is nice. I was not expecting that. Say what? Say what? Say what? She can do this all day. How fun is that? Um, and then she has, she doesn't have a bend and snap knee. Oh, her, that's weird. So her legs are like, I'm, I'm like able to like squish them. So I don't know if they're hollow. I'm, a, I'm gonna assume they're hollow. Uh, yeah, so that was, that was unexpected, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, her leg articulation is basically that. So no, no bending there. So my final thoughts on fashion candy, I am a sucker for a gimmick. So I'm sure when this doll came out, uh, if I had picked it up, I would, I would have been all over it with coloring her hair and giving her makeup and all that. Uh, but unfortunately, time has not been kind to poor Candy. And um, yeah, so I don't know. I think for, I'm assuming this was more of like a, I don't know if it's a budget doll or not. I can't tell. Like, she's kind of light. Um, she doesn't have that like, you know, like hefty feel, I guess. And there's a little like rattling there. And I'm not sure what is actually rattling. I would love to get like some fashion packs maybe, and I don't know. I would love to find one that doesn't have uh, one of these weird faces because uh, a lot of them do. I haven't, I actually haven't seen any that have normal faces for sale. So yeah. So I'd love to know, let me know what you think of the fashion candy doll down in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe um, and I will catch you next time.